Hello friends and welcome back to Reddix, your source for the freshest daily Reddit content. Before we get started today, I just want you to pause the video, take about 10 seconds to stretch that spine out, <laughs> cause we're gonna have some good cringe, and I don't want it to snap or nothing like that, because today we are headed into r slash nice guys. Now, nice guys are guys that claim to be nice, but generally turn abusive when they are rejected in some form or fashion. They seem to have a bleak outlook on the world and can't look inwardly enough to realize that perhaps they are the reason that people treat them the way that they do. Anyways, <laughs> with that short explanation out of the way, let's jump into this cringe. Hey, great news! I got the job and I'm starting training next week. Thanks so much for all your help. Netflix and chill to celebrate? No. WTF? Why not? I have a boyfriend for starters. So, I've known you for way longer, and not to be a dick, but you do kinda owe me. Excuse me? I'm just saying, you would've never gotten the job without me putting in a good word for you. I think this is the least you can do to say thank you for everything I've done for you. Other guys have had you on your knees for nothing, but I get ghosted after everything I've done for you? Really? This could be the dream job you've always wanted, or I could make it a living hell. It's up to you. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. That's pretty spiffy, dude. First day you walk in on this new job and you're like, Hey, HR. <laughs> Have I got some messages to show you? Jesus. This guy's a mess. I mean, most of them are. <laughs> the population of the US is about 60% female. So a lot of you women are gonna die alone. Keep that in mind next time you get my text. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great reason to be with someone. Why are you with me? Well, I just didn't want to die alone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of women would rather die in a house full of cats than interact with this guy any further. Lord. Oh god, a Gordon Ramsay meme. It's so good. Nice guys to women before rejection. Oh dear, oh dear. Gorgeous. <laughs> nice guys to women after re rejection. You f- Donkey! <laughs> oh, we need more Gordon Ramsay memes, please, internet. <laughs> Make that happen. Has anyone ever given a nice girl a chance after they've thrown a tantrum because you didn't let them treat you like a king? If you did, how did it work out? Found the nice guy. <laughs> I'm a girl. Try again, sweaty. <laughs> I was shocked at the other thread, so I wanted to hear about Guy's experience, that's all. If you're gonna lie, at least have the wit to hide your throwaway account which has I'm a horny dude stamped all over it. <laughs> My complete demands! <laughs> oh, I love these. You must be a white, heterosexual female, in shape, my age, single, straight, with no kids, Christian, etc. Otherwise, don't talk to me. Seriously. Unless you're just looking for some advice. Names are also extremely sensitive and important to me. Of course, as they should be. I'm a single straight male, monogamous Catholic, and I'm looking for a nice white girl my age to start a loving romance. I'd like to start a family. Unfortunately, my life's not going well right now. I'm poor, with debt, with no home. <laughs> I don't smoke, no tattoos. I'm not an addict, slut, or tramp. I do drink. I expect the same. My body's average slash athletic. 181 centimeters, 30 inch waist, artistic and poetic and adventurous. I would love to change pace with someone and start new. Live happy. Love is the easiest thing in the world. It's completely free. Living is not. <laughs> Love is honesty, commitment, dedication, devotion, sincerity, care, and much more. And despite him admitting in his dating profile that he's a hobo <laughs> with a mountain of debt, somebody ended up messaging him, amazingly enough. And how did that conversation go? Hey, you look a bit overweight, would that be a correct statement? I'm not trying to change anyone's lifestyle, some pictures can be deceptive. Hey, your profile makes you sound like a little bit of an asshole, would that be a correct statement? I'm not trying to change anyone's lifestyle, but you sound like a complete twat. You're obviously somehow offended by an honest question and far too immature. Go fly a kite. I'm the nicest person in the world. Go f a dog. 
Yes. Definitely the kindest person in the world. I see that now. <laughs> I just can't stand people like this. They're like, people don't like me because I'm brutally honest. It's like, no, they, they don't like you because you lack tact. <laughs> you can be brutally honest and go about it in a tactful way that doesn't end up offending somebody. Or, or maybe you can't, but most people can. <laughs> Honestly, I'm shocked anyone at all would send him a message. This guy obviously <laughs> has a lot to work on with himself before he can even think about starting a romantic relationship with anybody. I think he's looking for, like, somebody to save him, but that's not really how it works. You gotta save yourself, bro. <laughs> Ain't no sugar mamas out there for you. That's something that happens only in the movies. The porno movies. <laughs> hey... You want to see a vid of me drifting in my car? Uh, I'm good. Okay, f you then, ugly p it's your loss. <laughs> LMFAO! <laughs> What's funny, huh? How a nice guy wants to get to know you and show you a cool video, and you're being a total cunt about it? No, I don't think that's funny. Like I said, you're a loss. You probably date guys who weigh 90 pounds and drive hard to civics. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Wow, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. <laughs> Usually when somebody insults people who are underweight, that's a pretty good indicator that they're overweight. So is the car actually drifting, or is it simply having trouble changing directions with this guy inside of it? God, <laughs> that's your opener? Want to see a vid of me drifting in my car? Ugh. God, so cringy. Uh, it's not like 2006 anymore, where, where you know, Tokyo Drift just came out and all these panties are dropping if, if you drift your car. <laughs> Bro got the memo a decade and a half too late. He's like, wow, that really works? Let me try it. <laughs> Doesn't work. You stupid. Found a nice guy? Don't friend zone him. End zone him. Throw him on the ground like an effing football. <laughs> Touchdown. Nice guy finally scores. <laughs> Everybody wins. Boy. Hey. Wanna get in a relationship with me? I'm unemployed. I slept with like 25 women. I do drugs every day. I hit people for no reason. And oh yeah, my height is six foot three. Girls. You son of a bitch. I'm in. <laughs> nice guy memes. That's not how it works. That's really not how it works. You're missing the line of logic completely. While all of these things might be true, what it really comes down to is that this dude, who obviously sounds like a piece of at least has some sort of confidence in himself. Confidence is the secret sauce. But there's probably no nice guys watching this video, right? <laughs> Does size matter? Can I show you how big I am? No. It's 11 inches long. <laughs> I don't care. Bye. Do you play PC games? What? I said bye, dipsh**. Why? Because I don't want to talk to some horny asshole, so get the fuck out. I'm not. I, I'm already out. This. This, quote, it's 11 inches long, shows that you're horny. And since I said no to you wanting to show it, and you saying how big it is, and you're still talking to me, shows that you're an asshole. I'm not. I'm a nice guy. I'm studying to become a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> studying to become a doctor isn't a reason to call yourself a nice guy. I've met plenty of doctors that are total assholes. You're not acting like a nice guy at all, so get the f*** <laughs> out. Why are you mad? Ugh. I'm not even going to take that question seriously. Just stop messaging me. Are you on your period? <laughs> God. Oh, it seems I'm in a hole. Maybe I can dig my way out. <laughs> Ugh. It's okay. Just take a deep breath. I have one thing I'm going to ask you to do before I block you. Just say hi to Reddit. Why? Are you depressed? It's okay. You can talk about it. I'm listening. That's not what I asked you to do, but just expect to see yourself on Reddit pretty soon. 
Are you depressed? You can talk about it while I stroke my 11 inch hog. <laughs> OP, do not engage, okay? You spent far too long talking to this dude. It should have ended after I don't care. It's 11 inches long. I don't care, bye. Blocked. Conversation over. Although then you wouldn't have the story to post on Reddit, which I guess is a big part of the thing. And also don't tell people that you're posting them on Reddit. That's that's a pretty cringy thing to do as well. But nowhere near as cringy as the messages this guy sent. Oh, I'm studying to become a doctor. <laughs> God damn. <sighs> it's 3 a.m. And the dude has just messaged me to let me know I'll probably still be fuckable even with the scars. <laughs> One cannot simply make the men stop. I was thinking it, but <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I'd for sure take you out on a date. I'd kiss those scars, soft and gentle. Mm. Stay strong, Linda. <laughs> I'm in awe of your strength and resilience. We all thank you so much. Jesus, this is how hard it is to be in the public eye. <laughs> <laughs> But at least she's still the apple of his eye. Stop saying I. I shouldn't say I because this is about a reporter who got shot in the eye by a cop. So I shouldn't say I, but I just can't seem to stop. <laughs> so I'm gonna move to the next one. I I. <laughs> God damn it. Accepting rejection. Biddy brain. Internally get upset, but accept it anyways. Oh, the lights are coming on. Girls only want douchebags. Oh, reaching ascension. <laughs> Fine, fuck you, you stupid I'm a nice guy. And Nirvana. <laughs> the double think is just so hard. <laughs> I'll kill your family. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> it's like, do you not see how conflicting those two statements are? Goddamn. Hey. <sighs> If you want to chat, we should do that in person from now on. Winky face. To be honest, I just don't really feel the click. I don't feel the need to meet up again. You don't need to be this insecure. We both know that you wanted to meet up again. Actually, it was nice talking to you because you know a few things which made you interesting to talk to. I think we could be good friends. But even though we like some of the same things, like F1 and Lord of the Rings, it's difficult to understand your hangout ideas or lack thereof. We had to go to the cafe two times even though we just lived down the road from each other. Why? Perhaps you have some traumas from your past. I don't blame you. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just don't dig you. Girl, I never found you attractive. Just interesting. Best as a friend, but super weird. I was just being nice. What a loser, lol. Fuck <laughs> off. You know this dude was trying to move in for the kill. He thought he was such a smooth operator. Smooth operator. <laughs> but he put himself in the friend zone. You never start out and you're like, I think we could be good friends. Because then a woman will get in her head, hey, maybe he just wants to be friends. Make your intentions known, but don't do it in a creepy way. Maybe I'm asking too much here. <laughs> Traumas from your past. <laughs> oh, let me into your house so we can talk about those traumas from your past. <laughs> Jesus. Just, just so many red flags. I can't. Hey, Sandra. Super glad I ran into you today. I really wanted to tell you this in person, but I was drinking coffee and the way my anxiety is set up, plus you make me nervous just staring at me. I probably would have passed out saying more than I did. Somehow I managed to get your phone number, and I hope you know I was genuinely sincere about loving the art that you showed me today. You're such a great artist. I can't believe you haven't had your stuff anywhere yet. I'd love to get a coffee sometime and actually sit and talk and get to know you. I'm free this weekend if you're up for it. My treat. Or we can get ice cream or something. Whatever you'd like more. My treat. I'm a really nice guy. I hope you know that. Lol. Are you, are you gonna let me buy you a coffee or what? See, this is why girls like you get played. You're so blind and can't see a guy who genuinely cares about you and would treat you so good is right in front of you. You're such a bitch. Why even give me your number? Whatever, dude. I'm over it. I'll leave you alone. I want that $5 back for buying your coffee today. That. 
reply so I can just get my money. Whatever, bro. Just keep it. I don't care. I'm, I'm over it. Please reply. I didn't mean that. I was joking. Lol. Well, can we still get coffee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ha ha. That's good joke. Ha ha. What is wrong with you, dude? Dude literally said, I want my five dollars back. <laughs> like, honestly, dude, where's your self-respect? This, this is so terrible. I've been played before, too. I took a girl out for like a forty dollar sushi dinner, you know, and then at the end of the date, we're just like, okay, well, it didn't really work. But I didn't call her up the next day and be like, hey! Give me that 40 bucks back. <laughs> I was just like, okay, dude, whatever. Who cares? On to the next. But this dude is just so stuck <laughs> on a girl that gave him a fake number, obviously. <laughs> uh, it's like 20% sad, but 80% hilarious. <laughs> dude needs to take a freaking chill pill, man. Do you want coffee? Do you want ice cream? Never mind, give me my five dollars back. <laughs> uh, you can die alone. <laughs> For real though. Was that an elf emoji? Oh! Well, hello there, fair maiden. Fair maiden. That was such a neckbeard response. I was just about to say the same thing. This smells of neckbeard more than nice guy. <laughs> Would ye be interested in a tour down the personal trail of love? Stressed emoji. Blushing kissy face. Puppy dog eyes. I shall just settle being alone. You clearly don't want a nice guy. <laughs> it's almost a nice guy post. He does call himself a nice guy, but it kind of lacks the uh, hallmark mental abuse. <laughs> That makes nice guys what they are. But good try, OP. I appreciate the effort. Here's a great example. <laughs> Your emo, marry me. LMAO. Please. Uh, I have a boyfriend. Sorry, B. This is why women are property. What? I said it. Women ain't. Uh. I'ma kill you. What? <laughs> But why? What? Yep, I'ma shoot you, dumbass. <laughs> this had to come from a 12-year-old dude. <laughs> That's just so ridiculous. It's one of those, like, edgelord 12-year-olds from the Midwest. You know them. They're on every CSGO and Rainbow Six Siege game that anybody ever played in life. And if you ain't ever seen them, just hang out for a little longer. <laughs> They'll pop up in the comment section from time to time. FML. <sighs> like this just makes my blood boil. Literally just want to kick a hole straight through my wall. Absolutely disgusting that this is the world where we live in. I'm an educated and hardworking dude that's open to dating anyone as long as they aren't obese and don't stink. Meanwhile, some girl with terrible bone structure and flaky dry skin with no tits or muscle definition is literally able to go after some six foot seven Swedish Norse god. This pathetic existence. I have no issue with women choosing who they want to date until it actually becomes something like this. These standards are eugenic tier. Whoa! <laughs> Where she's even passable as a female. She can literally put in zero effort. And she's able to get with some guy that's probably rich, incredibly good looking, and smart. Hey, it's pretty cool how you just presumed a bunch of stuff about a person you never met. <laughs> he's handsome, so he's probably also rich. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> rich, good looking, or smart? Pick two. I just love the idea of this person standing around like, silently raging, <laughs> internally imploding. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh my god, I hate this situation, and the, uh, the other people are doing nothing, absolutely seething at the fact that they exist together. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. And then they go home, and they, they <laughs> plow each other, and this goes home and writes an angry post on the internet. <laughs> Who's winning, though? Who's winning? Kick a hole through your wall. Somebody kicked a hole through your head. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, am I the antagonist crossover? Yeah, yeah. Am I the antagonist for looking after my girlfriend? I'm going out with a girl who's dated assholes. She has had issues with a lot of boys who had no respect for girls at all. She's been damaged by this, and I'm trying to build her up. I treat her with respect, understand the word no, I'm kind and considerate, and protect her. I usually text her every morning to say hi, but I did this morning. I was pissed off though because she didn't text me instead. Like, she didn't text me at all. I waited until 9 and saw she was online and nothing. I inboxed her asking why she would never initiate conversation, as I'm also so caring about her but she won't do the same back. I reminded her how good I've been to her, and she's lucky to have me, especially given some of the assholes she's dated in her past. I wouldn't be surprised if she was texting some other asshole. I called her, and we had an argument. I ended up calling her a whore. I felt it was warranted, as she should make more of an effort. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm finding it so hard to make words. <laughs> Just the way that it ended. Just, uh, my god. I'll be real with you, LP. She probably just doesn't want to feel like she's dating another woman. <laughs> it's like such a horrible, insecure move. Oh my god. You shot yourself in the foot. This ain't gonna last. <laughs> For real. But I don't just want to insult this guy. Maybe, maybe I'll offer a little bit of my sage advice, you know? So have a seat, son. Let me, let me paint you a picture of the world according to Dayton. In most relationships, the vast majority of relationships, there is a chaser and a chasee. This woman is a chasee. She wants to be pursued. That's probably the reason that she's ended up with assholes so many times in the past. Because they were not deterred by the word no. They're like, I'm going to, to pursue her. There are times that girls will say no and not really mean it. That sounds horrible. Let me rewind. <laughs> Sometimes my wife tells me to go away. But she doesn't mean go away. She actually means comfort me and make me feel better about the dumb thing you did. You know what I mean? So by some miracle, this nice guy has ended up in a relationship with a, a chasey. I guess he was willing to chase it hard enough, and he was doing a great job, you know, sending her a text every morning that's really nice, validating her every single morning. But then it all fell apart when you decided to run your little test, experiment, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Stupid, that's what it is. And now you've lost this woman, probably for good. Which might be tragic for the OP. I don't know when he'll ever get this chance again. <laughs> but it's definitely good news for that girl. Run! Just run! <laughs> uh, was that helpful? Was it as horrible as it sounded in my head? I guess we'll find out in editing. <laughs> but anyways, friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you like, comment, and or subscribe if you did. Check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, and Patreon. And I'd like to thank my patrons, Damon Darkstar, Radimacisco, Lady Nix, Crimson Albedo, Dot Nathan, Mr. Weasel, and the OG, Nico the Legend. Join us again tomorrow, we're going to hop into some r slash entitled parents. And in order to do so, you'll need to keep yourselves safe. So please, do not forget to wash your hands. You are loved, you are valued, and you deserve it. And I'll see you tomorrow, friends. So until then, bye bye